1991? Last time it was on the road? Uh, That's what it says? Yeah. Wow. I, I actually bought it in 90. Did you, oh, did you ever drive it? Oops. Did you ever drive it? Yeah, I drove it from West Seattle to our place over in Kent. Oh, wow. And then I sat in the driveway for a little bit, pulled the engine out of it, and I tried to live over here. Wow. Is the original paint? Mm -hmm. From what you can tell? Parts of it. Yeah. They all had they had nine inches, right? All the Trinos had four nine inches behind them? Yeah, this has it's a 325 traction lock. Gotcha. Yeah, I got the mortar report coming for it. I got the preliminary. Oh nice. So you started you started pulling it apart and in that back seat. You started pulling it apart? Yeah. Yeah. When did you start doing that? When did you start uh, pulling it apart? Uh, right after I bought it. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. So, so what is that, 32 years ago? Yeah, 33 and that, yeah. And you went in for a beer and then came out today? <laughs> So, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, it was, the post is in the way. So. Yeah. And you moved over here, and life took over. Right. What engine is this? That's been the block for the car. Okay. Right? It's all ready to go back together. I'm going to have to obviously have to take the, the shop and get it. Machined and everything. Polished up. And... But it was a complete running driving car when you... Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that was really missing off was the trim ring from the shaker. Mm-hmm. And I got that and no hinges on it. Oh, okay. And uh, then the heat shield. Need to find one of those. Wow. Was it a, so a 429 Cobra Jet or Super Cobra Jet? It's just a standard Cobra Jet. So the Super got you the 391 gear or something like that? The real, yeah, real. Yeah, and then we also the Holly. Mm -hmm. and, um, I'm not sure, but I think it might have had the red Gotcha, and then probably like a heavy-duty cooling. Oh, yeah. Which is, yeah. Wow. No, e no AC car. Yeah, it has AC. Does it? You just take the condenser out and all the stuff? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Wow. I love that they have a real back seat. I have a 69 Mark 1 and the back seat's like this big. Yeah. But it, and it's a fold down, which like everybody ordered because the trunk is this big. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh. These are so cool. Look at that package tray, it's like three feet. Really? Disc brake car. I've never actually been in one. Like, open like this, yep. Swept dash. Where the dash pads at? Oh. So, so is it so in seventy was it a Torino Cobra, or was it just a, a Ford Cobra? No, it's a Torino Cobra. Torino Cobra, because I think it was, maybe it's sixty nine, where it's just, the model name is just Cobra. It's so a Ford Cobra, and then the, I, I gotta do some research. But I think there's one year where it's just a Cobra. I think it's the other body style. I think about it, but it's it's literally called a Ford Cobra, even though it's a Torino body. Well, they had the Twister, mm -hmm. which looked kind of like the Talladega. Right. The da uh, was it not Dan Gurney? Uh, they made a was it a white and red and like a white and blue one? Yeah, the, yeah, the ones I've seen have been yellow. Really? Yeah, they only made just like 
a dozen of them, if that, very few. A Twister, a Twister Trino? Yeah. I've seen a Twister Mustang. Yeah. It's like a grabber orange. Yeah, the, the Trino was the same body style on this, but it had that arrow package on it, like the Daytona's. Yeah, the long nose and stuff, that 69. They made two packages for that. There was a Mercury version that's white and red. I think there's a Ford version, which is white and blue. I can't remember exactly who. I want to say Dan, Dan Gurney or something. Yeah. Let's see what the trunk looks like. There we go. Perfectly placed. Oh, wow. Yeah, my Mark 1 is a shaker uh, also. I love the shaker. Jeez. So everything's here. So what happened? You, you um, you, you pulled it. Hey, Henry. Henry was proud of his work. Yeah. <laughs> Assembly line worker. Shout out to Henry. So you just, you just parked in and started pulling it apart and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the plan was to restore it. Yeah. Get it back. I have to put quarters on it. I right. Do patch panels. That's what I bought the parts car for. Yeah, I see somebody did some. Oh, yeah. What some they did worm is, work over there. Oh, well, this one here has a big hole all the way through it. Oh, yeah. I was, brought it home and I was cleaning out the trunk. Mm hmm. And there's a piece of cardboard in there, so I started pulling on it. Oh, the moisture and, got trapped. And, and then I really started pulling, pulling on it. Somebody put a fiberglass patch on the quarter. Oh, of course. Yeah, they used cardboard for the backing. That's, so when I pull it out, <laughs> the quarter panel came with it. <laughs> Safety release hatch. Yeah. Wow, that's weight savings. So what about the actual trunk for this part? Okay. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Because it's, it's been inside the last 30 years mm -hmm. in a garage of some it's, sort. It's, I bought it. It sat outside in our old house mm -hmm. for a short while, and then it's been sitting in here for ever since. Wow. Is this two different uh, timing covers? No. They're both the same. And one has wear on the inside of it, and a buddy of mine gave me another one. Okay. And do you have hideaways for this? I have two hideaway grills. Really? And not, but not the headlights and the mechanism or anything? Yeah. They're oh, complete. yeah, the complete. Yeah. Where are those at? I got them stashed underneath oh, my storage. Oh, those, it looks so tough when you have those on it. Yeah, because when I bought my parts car, the guy had a whole bunch of pieces. Yeah. And so that was all of that. And I didn't get all of them. I got the majority of them and, and lost contact with them. Gotcha. What is this? Is this the middle piece? Oh, that's an extra. Right up here. Oh, okay. oh, gotcha. Just a section? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look so good when they have the, uh, the hideaways on them. Did they have spoilers in 70? Uh, no. No spoiler I available? Only on the Mustangs, but the guys put them on there. I do have the louvers. Oh, is it a factory louver car? Is that what that plug right there is for? Yeah. Those look tough, too. So, no stripes? Nope. Even on the hood? Uh, there is, if you look close, there is... A blackout? A blackout. Oh, yeah, the blackout. Yeah, just like my Mark 1. That was the only thing that they had on there. I love these hood pins, hood locks. Those are awesome. And then where, so where are the uh, fenders at? Got them in storage. Yeah, the house looks a lot better. It was like extra fenders and. You know, the fenders are just, they're all one color. They're just black, the original ones yeah. still. This would be something cool just to. So, when I put this thing back together, all the sheet metal that needs to be replaced is all going to be back with sheet metal. Yeah. It would be cool to put it back together as it is. Yeah. And then get the engine back running and then drive it as is. Yeah. Right, well, I've been kind of kicking around the idea of making like a restaurant out of it. Oh, put him. Ooh. So, the guy down in um, Auburn who did a, a Mustang mm -hmm. and put a camera in that. Jeez. That shot, but... One of those old school cameras, the 427s? You said a camera or? Yeah, the, the, yeah. the new Mustangs. Oh, 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 the new ones, like a Coyote engine. Yeah, Coyote. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about a camera, like back from like the '60s. Like those are wild. It'd have been cool if these have been could have been ordered with a a Boss 429 engine. That'd have been awesome. I mean, it's wide enough in there to fit it. Yeah. Way better than a Mustang was. 
What the parts cars look like? Go check those out. So that one stayed outside the whole time. Oh. Yeah, they were sitting in the field, so it does have some usable parts on it. Is it a seventy also? Yeah. So seventy and seventy ones had the same fenders and. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah, the bodies were the same. Gotcha. In 72, they made that weird body style, that, that Torino movie. This one is a flat hood, too? This one? Yeah. Is this a regular Torino? Yeah. 302 car or something? Yeah. This one had the bank scoop on the hood. Okay. Now this is a Thunderbird hood that sits on top. I don't know, maybe Kyle wants that for the hood of this car. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, the shaker's way cooler. That one's okay. So then the, just a base Torino would have just like a yeah. flat hood then. Yeah, it just had a small block in it. Yeah. And, uh... Is there any interior inside? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah. I said it was kind of like a Fred Flintstone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Fred Flintstone for sure. Jeez. What we're in is uh, behind this one? Or is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. It was an eight. Which that was in this one. But you got this one because of the quarters? Yeah. You can use these off of there? Yeah, there's this very minimal rust on them. Yeah, that'd be an easy job. Yeah. Yeah, the, the roof is good. I love this. I love this one. Yeah. I don't really like the other one, the fastback style. Yeah. I like this one. Was yeah, it the formal? The other one is like the the northwest. Yeah. We're talking about it, it's a shorter window. Yeah. Yeah, and then the, the I had one of those before we moved in, and it was the it wasn't the northwest. It was the five hundred they called it. Okay. Yeah, they had regional packages. I think they had three regional packages mm -hmm. for those. Yeah, and it's like a, it'll have a funny window, an oval shape at the yeah. back. And then, the, then it's, it's not the same. That window is different also. Yeah. Looks funny. I think, it's, I think they call this one a formal roof. Or a formal, formal roof. roof. Another one might be a sport coupe. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Well, I think this is a sport roof. And the other one's a formal. Yeah. Gotcha. You said the hideaways are here or somewhere else? They're, they're somewhere else. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look mean with the hideaways on them. Yeah, I see the culprits, as far as I know, they did not have hideaways on the people who put them on. Yeah. And it had just the egg crate type of grill. Yeah. Did it have any options on it, that one? This, it has the air, it has the ribbon tack. What's that? Seven grand? The tack is in the dashboard. Uh-huh. Yeah. What does that go to, seven grand or so, 65 yeah, or something? I think so, yeah. And then... So obviously got buckets and console. And then the, it has dealer installed 15s on it. Were they um, rally wheels? Uh, the 500s, the Magnums? Yeah, Magnum 500. Let's see here, I got it. Um, so we used to have a, it was her dad's Jeep, but it was a uh, 1970 CJ. Mm -hmm. And the tailgate still said Willys on it. Yeah. But it, was made by AMC. It's just when they're doing the changeover. Mm -hmm. And this one was plum crazy purple, white top, and it had white reverse rims on it with bias plies. Really? From the factory? Yeah. It was all factory. So that was right when Dodge or Chrysler or whatever bought AMC? I think they bought AMC in like the late 70s or something like that. Yeah. So if you want to look at the tack, you open up the door, the instrument cluster is sitting right there. I had it open a second ago. Maybe start from the inside. There we go. 
You know, these damn Fords. Yeah, I love that functional uh, back seat. Like I said, way yeah. better than the Mustang one. I'm getting in. Oh, yeah. That's a nice steering placement. I thought you would need tilt for it. Um, I, must, I think my Mustang has tilt because it sits on your nuts if you don't have it. Let's see what kind of tack we have in here. Oh, it rolls. That's like a T-Bird. Um, it's like the T-Bird's uh, uh, odometer. Yeah. Look at that. So, yeah, seven grand. It's so funny. It's just a swept dash. Like, no pods or nothing. And then they put the tack right inside. Yeah. What? The only what? thing I like to find is one of those so old nice. uh, Pioneer Super Tuners. Oh, yeah? Underneath the dash. I had one. And I've been looking on eBay... You know, to restore it, you know, go back to the current correct stuff. Right. Like a day I even, two. I even have one of those uh, super snooper uh, radar detectors. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in forever. Yeah. I got one of them. So, yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool to do that. Yeah, do like a, they call that day two, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, put on some, put some keystones on there or something like that. Yeah. But I have carpets. What about the dash? What does the dash look like? Is uh, it? I have a couple of them underneath the house. Yeah. Can we go under the house? Yeah, we can get the keys. All right. Yeah. Your wife said it's a lovely place. Uh, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. But, yeah, it's 10,000 shit. It's a box. Yeah. That's like everything else right here. Come on, let's go. Let's try to shut this door. Oh, yeah. I can't really see this too much. This is conformed to blah, blah, blah. These manifolds are massive. So cool, having the whole shaker. That part's not cool, but. Having the whole shaker set up in here still. These massive. Manifolds. That's awesome. What is this trim for? Well, that's uh, trim for the windshield. Oh, okay. And what's this? That is the hood latch. Right that's for the front. It's huge. Yeah. Oh wow. Yep. <laughs> super coil. Yeah, that is a super coil. That thing's huge. Wow. Yeah, for my Mustang, I have a Cleveland block for it that's all been done up. Mm -hmm. so I have some of the old NASCAR C3 yeah. uh, aluminum. Oh, thank you. Um, heads for it. Mm -hmm. that I got it from a guy down in California, not California, but Oregon, and they've only had dyno time. He was doing uh, R&D for the truck series. Oh, wow. And so I got those. I have um, an intake, and everything's ported and polished in a set of uh, stainless steel headers for it. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go in that one? That's what the plan was when I was making the race car out of it. Yeah. No, those those have gotten really popular in the Fox body. So so this whole car was repainted, you think? I I would say it probably has. Cause I'm, I don't even see any residue of the, um, the Cobra sticker here anymore. Yeah. It was there, right? Not there? Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah, no scratch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you break, you buy. Yeah. So, you know, basically, it's in, it's in good shape. You know, this one has a little, little bit of bubbling going on right here. Yeah. Which would be a, a fairly easy fix. Yeah. It's just a puzzle. Yeah. You know? I was, I was telling your wife, it's easy to take them apart. Yeah, but I had one guy look at it, give me an estimate to restore it, and he wanted to do patch panels. Well, I don't want to do patch panels because I don't want the seam on the inside. Yeah. No matter how, what you do, there's always going to be a seam. Yeah, you have to paint and body work, and then you have to undercoat over it. Yeah, and no, that's the, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, and the time you do to try to uh, hide that, you could just hang yeah. the whole one on there. Well, now they're repopping the... The quarters uh, was it uh, AMD? AMD, yeah. I get emails from them all the time, and you know they're eight hundred bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. 
it's not too bad and from what i hear is it's pretty good um tooling yeah tooling and then the quality of the metal is good as well nice and thick yeah it's supposed to be just as thick if not maybe a little bit thicker as the original Actually, i still would try to dig all the spot was out of that yeah, one that's what put the plan it on. is yeah it takes some time but you know what it's, it's all factory metal you know everybody not fit in and yeah. Yeah. The oh. only part that won't be factory is going to be the battery frame. Yeah. Because I have another core support for it underneath the house. Yeah, I saw the course where it had rust on the bottom corner. Yeah. And, uh, That's a weird place. The guy's wife, she took it out to the store and she somehow smacked a light pole with it. Oh, nice. And the right front fender got hit. It's still, like, is it still dented up? Yeah. Is it a big dent? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think uh, I'm sure it's underneath the house. Okay. We didn't get rid of anything. Let's go run down and, there and check um, that out. There's no key still. Hmm. But you know, all factory. No. Family, family of fine cars. Yeah. So I'm waiting for the dealer to call me back. Hopefully they will. Are they still a Ford dealership? Yeah. Really? They're That'd one of those mega dealers now. They sell everything. But it's still Ford, mm -hmm. a Ford umbrella. Yeah. That'd and be cool to guy, bring it back there. When this car was sold, it was sold in October mm -hmm. 1970. Mm -hmm. And the guy, he was a kid then, but he's now the owner of it. Oh, that's cool. So he yeah, could have so sold I left, this. I left a message for him, and I don't know if he's going to return it or not, but, <laughs> but you know what's funny is that the guy who I got the car, he mm -hmm. bought it in October. Right. I bought it from this guy in October. Yeah. It's not quite. It might take me to October to get the money together, yeah. so <laughs> keep it going. Yeah. That'd be cool to take it back there and take yeah. a picture. How do we get up in the house? That, that way? Oh, downstairs? Yeah. All right. So, watch your step. Yep. That squatch might be down here. Hey, there's another motorcycle right there. Yeah, that's my chopper. What, what is it? What kind? The little mini chopper. Oh, is it a nice. regular bicycle? No, it's, it has an engine on it. It has, a, I think, a 90. Oh, wow. I, I love old, I love basements and stuff like oh, this. Yeah. Yours doesn't have spiders and stuff really all up in it. No, all like they're a, fighting, I think. Like a crawl Good space. Way. Got my hideaways down over here. Here's the hideaway stuff. You say where? Oh, underneath this? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it, it looks so cool with hideaways on them. Framing. Yeah, that's for the lower part of the dash. Oh, okay. In there. Oh, and then here's a one of the canisters, I think. Yeah, that's a vacuum canister for the just monstrous. Yeah. <laughs> and um uh... all right. And then there's the grill. Yep, there's a got two of them. I got and another dash. Uh -huh. And an under dash AC looks like over there. Yeah. Aftermarket. Yeah, I want to say that was out of a Mustang. These are a must. Yes. And they have like a little grill that goes on top of yep. here. Yeah. That's a must. That's four Speedo. Oh, and that one has a yeah. tack delete. Yeah. And they also put a clock in there. That one has a clock. Yeah, the clock. Yeah, those are pretty rare. <laughs> it's just so funny. They never made a pod for it. Yeah. You know, I think it would be sporty. More mirrors, sport mirrors, and regular mirror. Chrome one. Yeah. Is that AC under dash? Or is that? That's Thunderbird parts there. Super oh. cool. Okay. There's the louvers up over here. Just to the left. Oh, I see them. Those, those louvers are so cool. I'm debating on putting them on my Mustang or not. Yeah. They never came with them, but I'm just like, oh, I like them. This is the original. <laughs> this is not the original grill. This is a replacement. But I had one down by Boeing Field. There used to be those two wrecking yards down there mm -hmm. on Empire Way. And went in there one day and they I had... I think one was Icon Auto, maybe? Yeah, I forget. Acme or something like that. Yeah. But anyhow, yeah. Um, they had a 70 wagon in there. Mm, wood okay. grain, hideaways. No hideaways. It was just the egg crate grill. Mm -hmm. And I went in there and talked to the guy. He sold it to me for five bucks. This thing was perfect. There wasn't a chip or crack or nothing in it. Mm -hmm. And so I brought it home. 
and this is where it went. Safe spot. Uh -oh. This is what's left of it. Oh no. Somehow when we had that earthquake. <laughs> yeah. And it got dropped down and something fell on it and split it right down the middle. Oh, I know you were thrilled. Five bucks. Damn. The whole damn thing. <laughs> and I was just sick. Yeah. I was just sick because it just needed to be painted. Dang. But anyhow, um, Super Cobra Jet Intake. Where'd you get that from, your buddy? Yeah, somebody gave it to me. And it is a disc brake car, right? Yeah. Okay. And I also have a, a nine inch out of a wagon. Mm -hmm. That was a disc brake, nine inch. Wait, so they had disc brakes in the rear also? No. They oh, didn't. okay. But I was thinking about converting it over. Yeah, it's like the Camaros with the JL8 option. Mm -hmm. Disc brakes all around. Yep. Oh, I love stuff like this, man. And Extra door panels. Yep, that's out of the, the parts car. Gotcha. Got valances. Power steering units. Oh, such a cool logo, man. Yeah, now see, that's the trim, and I got it. They're still in the tube, brand new set, mm -hmm. new old stock. I always thought they were uh, just like glued on the little yeah, rubber these, cheesy one. These actually have little studs welded onto the quarter panels. Gotcha. It, I see one yellow fender here. Yeah, that was. Um, There's the back seat. Where's the other black fender? Yeah. Not back there, it must have, it was crushed, so I might have gotten rid of it. Oh no. Um, I think I see core support. No, I'm sure, I must have gotten rid of it then. Dang. Got the AC condenser over here. Mm hmm. Yeah, back seat balance, a whole bunch of dashes. Yeah. Those are all Torino? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the one that I, it was originally there was cracked and split up, so. Did it have a, its own logo? Did it say Cobra or something right here on it? Yeah, yeah, it did. It should be up there in one of them. Gotcha. The one thing I wish I would have done is made a copy of the original title. Oh, you had the old uh, carbon one? Well, no, because when I uh, registered the car, mm -hmm. you know, I had to... Um, they took the title. Yeah, they let you keep it now. Oh, they if do? you ask them, yeah. They'll just make a copy of it and yeah. and let you keep it. Well, I wish I would have kept it because that you know, would have been another confirmation that I'm the second owner. Right. But it's yeah, the bill of sale still. So that's um should be proof enough. Yeah. Try to see what that says. That might be the Cobra one. Trino. Yeah, I got the sport slats. Dang. I hope you have that fender around here. I would just uh, beat it back out. Down here, I don't have it. No. Yeah, because <sighs> yeah, if I remember right, it was crushed up pretty good. Yeah. yeah it was back in the day when I didn't keep stuff like that. Right. I should have. New front bumper and. So did it, it was just the fender, didn't like yeah. crush the core support or the uh, no, inner aprons? Uh, no, I was just, I was going to take it to a shop and have the frame checked mm -hmm. just to make sure. You know, because he's going to do it, do it right. Right. And this is the crank for it, right? No, that's, um, I have a Mexican block 302. Oh, okay. That's what all that stuff's for. But you said you had the heads done? Yeah, they're upstairs in the garage. So you got the whole top end done, and then you just need to do the block. Yeah, the transmission's done. The heads are done. Stainless steel valves and still light seats, so they can run unleaded in it. Uh -huh. And one thing that somebody convinced me to do, which I wish I wouldn't have done, is that we reworked the pistons uh -huh. to drop the compression ratio down. To run on crappy gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. Well, it's still the same bore, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's so you a thirty could, over. Yeah, so you can still. Yeah, put I can still get pistons. That's not yeah. a problem. But it's all been balanced. Oh, okay. And I have uh, another set of Cobra Jet rods. Oh, all right. Careful. Yeah, I want to break the other grill. Yeah. 
Love the hideaways. So you got two complete hideaways? Yep. Is there a lot? Is there is his own wiring? Um, They're all vacuum. So you, you pulled the whole thing? So yeah. It's like pull and put it right back on? Yeah. Gotcha. It's all vacuum. The, the headlight switch is different. Mm. But, um, yeah, so other cool. than that, as far as I know, that's the only thing that they have to change. Gotcha. Did you get the switch also? Um, no. That's one thing I did not get from him. It's probably LCD and probably the same as an LCD. Yeah. I can't imagine Ford retooling it for just a trainer. Yeah. yeah that's, that's it. That's it. Oh. Thank you.